Hello everyone. Today we would make a script that would generate a legend based on selected view filters. The script would create a field region for each filter and automatically place tag that would display name of each field region. This workflow would assist you with quickly generating legends in case if you have a lot of filters applied to a specific view and you want to create keys for each filter. Let's get started. For today's script, we would use two extra packages, GeniusLocky and SpringNodes. To start with, we need to gather the filter information from selected view. Search for views node and rename it to select view with filters. Keep it blank for now. Then search for get filter overrides node from Genius Loki package and connect views. This would give us all filter attributes applied to selected view. Create a group and name it one dot get filters from selected view. Now let's create rectangle shapes that we use in our legends. Create a code block and type 1000 and 500. Then get rectangle dot by width length node and connect 1000 to width and 500 to length. Also get polycurve dot curves node and connect rectangle output. We would use it to generate a rectangle for each filter. Create a group and name it two dot create rectangle shapes. Now search for polycurve dot by joint curves and connect curve output. Also get geometry dot translate node and connect polycurve to geometry. To duplicate the rectangles at equal distance and correct amount of times, we need to create a quick formula. Search for curve dot length node and connect output from group two. Then create a code block and type x square bracket zero. After that, create another code block and type 0 double dots open brackets x times y minus x close brackets times negative 2 double dots x times negative 2. Connect previous code block to x. For y, we would need to get the amount of filters applied. Get list.count node and connect view filter name output from group 1 to list. Then connect int output to y. Now connect this code block to Y transition, since we want to maintain horizontal position identical for each field region and only create new one vertically. Create a group and name it free dot duplicate rectangle shapes. Now let's actually create this new field region types. Search for element type dot duplicate node from spring nodes. Every Revit project would have a default solid black field region that we will use as a base. Create a code block and type solid block, then get field region type dot by name and connect code block. Connect field region type to element type input as well. For the new name input, we would use view filter name output from group one. Create a group and name it four dot duplicate existing field region. With this information, we can start generating detail items in Legend. Search for polycurve.curves node and connect output from group 3 to polycurve input. Then get field region dot by curves and connect curve to boundary input. Also get views node, rename it to select empty legend view and connect to view input. Get output from group 4 and connect it to region type input. Create a group and name it 5.create new field regions. Now let's make sure our new field region types has correct colors applied. Search for field region properties change node and connect output from group 5 to field region or type input. Since the filters I am using in this example have cut foreground pattern and color, I would use them to define new field region types, colors and patterns. Get cut foreground pattern and cut foreground pattern color outputs from group 1 and connect to foreground pattern and foreground pattern color inputs. Create a group and name it 6. Change color and name of new field regions. Now for the last part, let's put annotation. Search for tag dot by element and location node. This node would use a tag depending on family category, in our case, detail items. 
Make sure you have detail item tag in your project or use the one that is attached in the description below. Connect select empty legend view node from group 5 to view input, then connect field region output from group 5 to element input. Search for point.byCoordinates node and create a code block. Type 1500 and x minus 165. Connect first item to x and second to y. For the x value, we would use the code block from group 3. Now connect point to location input. Create a group and name it 7. Dot create tags for each field region. Also make sure that the node in group 6 is at longest lacing. Now the script is done, let's prepare it for Dino player. Make select view with filter and select empty legend view nodes inputs, then save it and let's test it. As you can see, in this example I have some filters applied in the view level 0. To run the script, you also need to create an empty legend view. Now you need to specify the empty legend view and the view where you have your filters applied. In my case, it is a test view and a level 0. After you press run, you would see the legends being generated and tagged. One of the benefits of using tags instead of text for annotation is that you can always rename the family it is applied to and it would update the tag automatically. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.